On this fire minute, we're going to go over variation on scrubbing the building with the aerial ladder. I've heard it called the Seattle method. I've heard it called the Los Angeles method. I've heard it just referred to as scrubbing the building. I've also heard that scrubbing the building is everywhere that the ladder could reach. I don't know what they call it in Seattle or Los Angeles. But for this sake of consistency, we're going to call it scrubbing in this video. Our guest lecturer would like to point out that this is not him actually putting the stick up. <laughs> uh, we were out in our district walking some commercial roofs for training purposes and one of the engineers had thrown the stick up to the corner of the building. And I noticed Sean John standing there staring at the aerial and he looks over and says, hey, have you thought about just extending it a little bit further? There's actually some benefits to that. And so we'll go over some of those right now. So when you extend the ladder a little longer, it gives more of a chance for the firefighters to hold onto the beam or the truss and help them ingress and egress off the ladder and onto the flat roof or parapet or whatever you're on. And that actually brings up a good point. One of the times in my career I had a near miss, we were going up the aerial to the roof on a three-story building. And with the uh, waterway still being in the way underneath, as well as the, the fly not being extended very far, uh, it was a good distance to the parapet. So with my stubby little legs, because I got the physique of a basset hound, I had to jump off a little bit. And when I landed on that uh, parapet, you know, I wasn't sure wobbling back and forth if I was going to go forward or, or backwards off the roof. Obviously, I'm talking to you right now, so things went well. But it was one of those moments. And that's another benefit of scrubbing the building is from the engineer's position you can easily sight down the rails and get within inches a lot easier than it would be to ladder straight into a building where you're not sure if you're a little short of the parapet or a little long if you're short you run into that situation where you have a little gap which can be dangerous um, getting off of the ladder onto the roof or if you've extended it too far now you're getting off the ladder even higher than the parapet which is can also be difficult you also have access to your waterway. You can hook up a two and a half inch. And lastly, the tip of your ladder is up higher. The light is more visible. So if your firefighters run into a problem on the roof, when their vision is obstructed by smoke or fire or large AC units or what have you, it'll be easier to locate the aerial for an emergency evacuation. And here's our resident male model demonstrating how easy it is to get on the roof and how easy it is to get off the roof with this method. Thank you, Sean John, for sharing. Hope you enjoyed this week's Fire Minute.